welcome to Anton's TV. My name is Jack, and I was just droning out. Um, Droney Braxton. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm looking at other guys. We're here at Anton's Day. I've got Taylor in the corner. Hey, Tay Tay. Hey. Got Chris Vea, the Maltese Falcon. What's up? And I have been uh, given this absolute beast of a bit of kit. Well, it looks like a beast to me. I dig the look of it. It's the new Roland. Axe Edge and plugged in on the floor there, just really do it for the dorks out there. Got a thing called a Super Ego Plus just to give me a drone to catch the notes. Anyway, so I've been asked to take a look at this Kitas treacherous territory. And we're going to talk about this. Like, why, why should you buy a Kita? I bought one once. And I'm going to tell you a story about it a bit, but in, in the meantime, let's just listen to the thing. I just want you to hear what comes out of the box. So, we've got a new synth engine, apparently. I'll read you. I'll read you the first thing on the website that comes out. Axedge. And it's like the first thing on the Roland web website at the moment when you go on there. Axedge. So, let's see, uh, let's see what they say. Step into the spotlight. <laughs> Today's audiences crave dynamic performances that stand, stand out, just like the one I gave you at the beginning, yeah? As an artist, you want to connect with your fans and take your moment in the spotlight. I do. The Axe Edge builds on decades of refinement and learning from artists all over the world about what makes the ultimate performance synthesizer. The Axe Edge has a sleek, modern design. Customizable look via interchangeable edge blades. This is what they're talking about here. So, carry on, carry on, Jack. 49 full-size keys, I should hope so, and a sound set crafted especially for guitar guitarists. There's loads out there. And throughout the Axe Edge, you'll find thoughtful design features that give you the freedom and confidence to truly express yourself on stage. Okay, cool, cool. And then the next bit, this is one of the most striking things. Uh, I saw, you know, the press release, just the look of it. I think it looks cool. What were we saying, Tay-Tay? Chris? Cool. The problem comes with Kitas is when you put them on. As you can see, like, it's pretty hard. It's kind of like when men, men get naked. It's cool until you just take the pants off. You know, like, you, you, can be, you can be the hunkiest dude in the world, but you take your... I don't know why I'm talking about that, but I just always feel ridiculous when the pants go off. Women look beautiful naked. Anyway, that's my opinion. Next bit, step into the spotlight. We've done that. Give, your stage, give yourself stage presence. Stage presence is everything. Is everything. Okay? And you work hard to develop your image as a solo performer or band. The Axe Edge is designed, designed not only to look stunning on stage, but also to match your own unique style. It's available in black or white. And each colour has individual design elements that make it stand out, like the none more black keys and the removable edge blades. The Axe Edge comes with extra blade in the box. That's cool. A silver edge blade for the black model, so you get a silver one with this, and a gold edge blade for the white. What would you go for? Mm. Did you, I know you haven't silver. seen the white. Yeah, the silver one? Silver. White. Yeah, the white and gold. White. You little Maltese little pimp daddy. <laughs> <laughs> the Axe Edge comes with an extra blade. Create a look that complements your band style or swap out the edge blades to keep things fresh. I think you need to do custom ones. Anyway, um, that's a little bit of, of the blurb about it. And uh, I was playing a sound I found there. I just kind of searched through to find something. Got a new synth engine. Check out the specs. Monstrous stuff. Loads of LFOs, loads of parts per patch, and it's very customizable. What I was going to go for for you is just to flick through maybe the first five sounds on each of these banks. Just see what it sounds like. Right, Carlton Banks. <laughs> this is the first one, first one out of the bu box in a category called Edge Lead, Distort, Dist Sync Lead One. Catchy title. <laughs> God, I've got to just pull my socks up and start playing some music because that's a bit of the temptation when you get on the guitar, I find, is just play dodgy pentatonic licks. And it's thrilling to be able to 
bend the notes. What I'm doing here is you've got a touch strip. So when uh, this is how you bend the note on there. Um, and what you hear at the end, it's actually pressure sensitive, like after touch. So uh, I can go to the top. And I'm digging in there to get the vibrato. Um, other thing is, you don't have to slide. You can just tap. And you can do quarter note stuff, so... Um, uh, how I got that E flat instead of... So you could really perfect it, which I haven't done because I've only touched it for about five minutes. So that's cool. I'm going to try to give you my first opinion. That was the first patch, second patch. Let's go for the key of... F. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Next patch is called Dist Stack Lead. Tay Tay, give me a, a note. C. C! And on the back, on the back, on the back, you've got some assignable controls. Uh, you can do that for an app or you can get in the menu here and tell this to do different things to the sound. Uh, so on this one, let's see what it does. I'll just hold that C down that Tay-Tay said. So you can hear it's, it's opening up the uh, vowel type filter. Let's see what connections it's got in the back. So it's got Bluetooth MIDI. What? So you can have wireless, witty fun. Um, and also it's got traditional mid. We've got it plugged in at the moment because we didn't want to pay for the batteries. But you can wax some AA batteries. It takes rechargeable batteries as well. That, and also when you do this, oh, I'm playing it with my nuts. Um, <laughs> where's, anyway, master volume. There we go. Cool. So, mic input. So we're going to plug something into that. Oh, yeah. oh, hell yeah. Don't act like you're not excited. Uh, some headphones, which would be rather awkward. Left and right stereo out. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Just wearing headphones as a key tab. Try it out. Um, and a few memory things there. On the back, you can see we've got a slot for... I don't know why I'm showing you like this. <laughs> that's the thumbnail. Actually, that's the thumbnail. Why am I talking about thumbnails? Anyway, that's the world we live in. I've got it pretty low slung down here just to kind of expose my belly, yet cover my balls. Um, that's where I feel it's best placed. I'm going to the lead section because I'm already bored of that one. 101, here we go. Let's pick a key. Chris. D. All right. Master volume. <laughs> I find it really, I find it really hard. I get always so excited about a key time, I'm like, yeah, can I do it? And then when you get on it, it's quite a different experience. Just putting it out there, it's, uh, it's because we're going to address what I think is one of the big problems with key time, which is when you're here, one hand, it's cool. It's cool when you're shredding, but this happens. So you, you've done that, you've done your, your solo, and then let's, let's look at some of these other sounds. Oh, so it's piano, and they go, oh, right, cool. But we want you to play um, Forget You by uh, CeeLo Green. And you go, oh, right, 
Oh, yeah, but I just spent all this money on this guitar. No, it's all right, it's all right, it's got piano sounds in it. Oh, right, it's all right, I'll just stand up and do it. So you go. <laughs> and you're laughing. I can see Tay Tay laughing, thinking, what a loser. What a stonking little T Rex looking loser going like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'd suggest you have a stand. Don't be like me. Learn from my mistakes. Have a stand there anyway. Because when you want to do... One thing I quickly learned with guitar is... Oh, God, I'm... If only I had my headphones plugged in. You've got this... Um, what I'm saying is when you finish shredding and you've had your moment, you know, like... Oh, yeah! <laughs> and they go, oh, sh forget you. And you're, you're there basking and you're there, go, three, four, ah! Keys, uh, uh, uh. Instead of looking like a baby T-Rex, put it on something. Take, whip this off, unstrap yourself. I made the mistake once, because I was in Paris playing some shows. I was all like young and thought I was the shit, doing some pop gigs, and I was like, I had this synth solo, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna do it on keto, you know? Did it, and I, I used to use a MIDI control thing, and I, I, I suffered in front of thousands of people looking like I had undersized arms, <laughs> you know? The basic, like, Mr. Burns, strong hand, take my strong hand, all that stuff. I did it. Don't fall into my trap. Or fall into the trap with this, because it comes in two colours, and you can express yourself with those two colours. Black or white, that's all you need. Here we go, bass sounds, unison attack. Cool, that was almost music. It's called MG Deep Bass, you knows it. Sounding rather me tay that one actually. Maybe it maybe it's changing my mind. Pad sounds, AX mood strings. I'm gonna go two hands, I'm gonna risk it. Oh, Stop laughing! <laughs> what do you find funny? Uh, T Rex hands. T Rex hands? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's stuck when you're doing the T Rex hands. Yeah, you like to hear that. Stood there before the show. Wembley! <laughs> Three, four. <laughs> and imagine with your mic in. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like my little T-Rex hands. <laughs> oh, here we go. That's enough of the pad. 60 strings. Is it any cooler in a different key? No, it's not. Because <laughs> this is like where you're really fit touching yourself. It's like... You know what I mean? Poly sounds. This is called Polyopolis for my Greek synth fans. So you got pitch bend it. Oh, octave. Dive bombs. <sighs> Not quite the same, is it? Anyway, this lever here just. Mod, but that's really handy for things maybe like brass. <laughs> that ain't brass, come on, bro. Oh, these are like synthy brass sounds. Horn Paradise. <sighs> Just finding probably a little bit. There's so many effects, and I read a little bit about it. So much talked about the amount of effects and the amount of possibilities per patch on this. And I think 
It'd be really good. Maybe we'll revisit it another time. I don't think we will. But if I was to re revisit it, I'd come back and I would just program some plain waves and see what it sounded like without all this. Because it's almost unplayable, the amount of effects on there. 106 Biggie Brass. Oh, yeah. Of like master, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it just feels rather masturbatory, you know. And hey, I'm not gonna say we all like beating ourselves off, but I just don't necessarily do it on stage with little T-Rex arms, okay? What do you mean? But let's keep going. Key sounds, piano, we heard it on Forget You. Or other hits like, um, hey, don't make it bad. Take a step for and make it better. Remember, you know, like I'm there, I, I use my left hand. I'm a piano player, it's almost unusable. But again, all the experienced guitarists out there, because there's all 18 of you, you know, put this on a stand when you're not shredding. Let's hear some other key sounds. This is called Imaginary Piano. I wish there was one. I just don't know where I'd ever use that. Lord Organ, here we go. Mm. Grand Pipes. start actually playing piano and you become a blue badge holder. Anyway, uh, Grand Pipes, Dino EP, Rubber Roads, let's check it out. So, um, do. Wait, that ain't a Rhodes, bro. <laughs> You're at your bar. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Maybe maybe that's what I'm missing. That's just it. They should put that in the manual. When you buy it, you've got to kind of just do that kind of lackadaisical bop. You know, oh, all right, cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, you want Senorita? Yeah, yeah no. So hard to play and not see. <laughs> I can't see my hands. <laughs> Could go wrong at any time. Plus, I look like I'm a <laughs> Hang on. Anyway, so, yeah, that's that. Let's move on to other sounds. First sound, uh, just pick a key. We're going to go, what key? E. E, I like it. I'm going to go minor. <sighs> I mean... Just sounds like an old... Charlie Wong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Here we go. Um, AX Shamathan. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Pan pipes. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Maybe I think more time when you buy this. If you're a dancer, uh, you know, which you can see I am a restrained dancer, 
if you want to be a dancer, maybe buy this, because you're going to have to work a lot on your dance moves. Hey! Oh. <laughs> and then my little left hand comes out. Uh, oh, they got a recorder! So when you buy this, go look at it, patch 710. Shows you as well. Like, even in the crowd, and you're like, damn, that sound is fresh. What's the Man, I gotta check me some 710. Let's hear what it sounds like. Let's see what the assignable control does. Wow. Let's see if I pitch bend it. Oh no, not even any aftertouch. Let's see if I use this button. Unusable trim. So you kind of get in my poly slicer. <laughs> oh, hang on, we can have some. Yeah. Yeah. Golden poodle. Golden poodle. I'm going to the golden poodle. I'm going to the golden poodle. You know what I mean? Golden poodle, by the way, if you're in Hamburg, just ask about the golden poodle. One note jam. Oh! Yo. I'm 33. I'm a 33 year old man and I do it for my job and this is almost the most ridiculous thing I've ever done. It's so hard to coax. Yeah, that's why I put the super ego down. I'm like, it's a cool product. So maybe, maybe it's a big part of your act or like you're a busker and you can spend the time on it. Maybe I'm just not seeing it. Maybe I'm not seeing it, but there we are. It's just, I don't want an orchestra here. It just feels like they've packaged the 80s in here. Right, enough of slating this. It's got a vocoder, and apparently all of the tones in here can be vocoded. So I'm sure you want to hear that. We're going to go find a microphone and be right back with you and blow your mind with some vocoded tones. You dig? Okay, friends in YouTube land, we went and we got a, well, you might not be my friend. You probably hate my guts if you watched the first bit of this video. But if you stuck around, we pl just plugged a mic into it, a common all garden SM58 into the mic input here on the back. It's got a vocoder voice section. This is the first patch I can find uh, that responded to the vocoder and I've deliberately not done too much because I want to take that voyage with you and we're going to see what it sounds like. Uh, I'm just going to have to think of something to say. So you can hit no sound and when I sing it's going to come in. Okay, you ready? I've got to pick something really profound. Get my little hat. Get my little hat Serious there for a minute. We found a cool sound in the Roland Axe. <laughs> that sounds cool, right? Yeah. Not the play. I mean, I'm just playing major chords, but 
That's responding really well. Let's try the next patch. Uh, okay, 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 okay. I'm just gonna say another one of my favorite phrases. Sorry about sucking on my It's just, it's actually, I sing it a lot. I draw a lot of whenever I see a blank bit of paper, I draw on it. Secondly, as a vocal tick, I sing sucking on my all the time. Now you know a bit more about me. Okay, here we go. This one's called Robot. Oh yeah. Patch. Screw. Firstly, I'm going to say, don't bother with the rest of the sounds on this keyboard. Pony. Raw pony. And it's a shame, Roland. Like, just re. Roland is sick. I love you, Roland. But this is where it's at. VP330. Let's see what it sounds like. Um, okay, okay, okay. I was just freezing some of the sounds there. Uh, I've got so many microphones, I don't know what to talk into. Oh, yeah! This one's a fifth, so it's going to put a harmony in for me. What the vocoder does is it's giving you it's given me a level of expression that just wasn't in the sounds. There's, there's like a something about the synth engine that's just, it doesn't matter how many oscillators it's got, man, how many effects it's got. Sometimes we just get smaller synths in here, or big as it, whatever the synth is. But yeah, the vocoder is popping off in this. Let's check it out. Squ saw square mod. Um, let's have a key, Chris, please, mate. Um, G. S Woo! Oh. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps Anyway, yeah, so that's, uh, <laughs> that is the Roland Axe Edge. We're gonna, um, I'm probably gonna keep the vocoder in just cause it's fun. And we're gonna play it and I'm gonna rip some dodgy licks over one of Danish Pete's backing tracks. They're fresh, check them out. You get on Apple Music, Bandcamp, and um, Somerset, where he lives. Thanks for checking me out today. Not checking me out, checking this out. There's nothing to check out here, really, unless you really dig a vocoder and you like the look of it. It's my opinion. Sorry, Roland. I love you, man. Peace.
Yeah, 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 yeah. 